This video is on star life cycle. Have you ever wondered where stars are born from? Or how do they die? And specifically about our own sun. We're going to take a look at these things in this video. Now stars life begins here in a cloud of gas. And this gas starts to bump together, and specifically these hydrogen atoms, and they start to um, collect. And as they collect, they become more massive, which causes there to be more gravity, bringing in more hydrogen, and it starts to grow from that. When it reaches a certain stage, this gas starts to heat up. And um, this stage is called the protostar. This is where the gas is heating up, uh, the hydrogen atoms, uh, they're just heating up, and we're trying to get to that nuclear fusion stage. And once there's enough mass for this to happen, where nuclear fusion is achieved, the star becomes a main sequence star. And we've seen that on the HR diagram, the whole band of main sequence stars. And this is where nuclear fusion is going on, and where a star spends most of its lifetime is here in the main sequence. And we saw that too, where most of the stars were all grouped in that main sequence area on the HR diagram. Here, we have massive gravity. Stars are lots of gravity with stars. And they're holding the gas in. But the gas is also superheated and wants to expand out. So these two forces are um, in opposite directions, but they're imbalanced. And this have in the main sequence star, those two forces are in balance. Eventually, the fuel gets used up uh, for nuclear fusion, and these forces become unbalanced. And when it happens, the star becomes a red giant. And we've already talked a little bit about that, that when the red giant uh, happens, uh, the sun starts to expand out, and it will actually engulf the Earth, uh, as we see here in this uh, picture. And here the forces get back in line uh, where the, the heat wants to expand, the gas wants to expand out into the universe, but gravity is holding it in. Also on the HR diagram, we saw where uh, these stars are very bright because they're big, uh, but they're uh, on the cold end. Um, and this continues for a little bit longer, but this is uh, when the sun is starting its death stage, uh, starting to die. Eventually, um, enough fuel is, most of the fuel is used up, and it turns into a white dwarf. The um, outer shell of the sun is expanded out and let go into the universe, and all that's left is a tiny white dwarf. And we saw these that are not very bright um, on the HR diagram. And they can range from uh, about medium temperature-wise, but they're very tiny. And this is the last stages. Um, they're essentially like on life support. Eventually, they'll just uh, be white and grow just dark, uh, dark. And we call those black dwarfs. Um, so that's essentially what happens with our sun. Now, if our sun was more massive, when it hit that after that red giant stage the sun would go supernova and explode. And that's the exciting part, where to see it explode um, into a supernova. Well, after the supernova stage, uh, if it's, the star is massive enough, a black hole is formed, another really cool thing. And we've talked about how the galaxy, there might be a black hole at the center of the galaxy. Lots of mass, uh, short area, and it actually bends light uh, towards it because of the gravity is so great. Um, another thing that can happen, though, is we can get a nebula. And again, this is where stars are born. So from the death of a big, massive star, new stars can be created here in the nebula. So it's kind of a circle of life here uh, with massive stars. Um, just one go over recap in here. So stars are formed in a nebula. And um, like our sun, if we look over here on the left side, this is kind of the path of our sun. That will grow into the protostar. Uh, there's the gas is heating up. It will then form a main sequence star, uh, like our sun is currently. And that, again, is where the force of gravity is balanced with the force of the gas heating and want to expand expanding out. 
and again, most of the life of the star is all spent in the main sequence stage. Eventually, as the fuel is used up, it becomes a red giant. Um, after more fuel is used up, they're kind of in balance again, it'll eventually turn to a white dwarf, and then eventually just burn out and turn into a black dwarf where there's no more light going. Now, if our Star Wars is a little bit massive, it's kind of the exciting part. It's where you get a massive main sequence star, turns into a red supergiant, and reaches that critical supernova stage when the gas, um, instead of expanding out, uh, like with ours, the gas actually contracts because the gravity is so great and causes a supernova. That's where we can get a black hole or back to a nebula where life is formed again for new stars. Uh, so in conclusion, try to focus on our sun, uh, the stages of life. Our starts as gas and a nebula, uh, protostar, where nuclear fusion hasn't happened yet, but the heat's building to a main sequence star, like where our sun is, red giant, and then white dwarf. Uh, thank you. I ho hope you enjoyed the video. Ask any questions to your teacher that you might have. And again, stay learning, my friends.